guys and welcome to another Deligracy Build Crest Challenge. We're working through my Build Crest, which is a challenge world I created and I put all the lots on the gallery under the username Deligracy if you would like to download them. Connect the dots was a fail, so I need to redo this one. Now what was this one that I seem to have some sims in? Is this like the open plan challenge, I think? Oh no, that's a favorite items build. So that's a build using all of my favorite items. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll do a favorite items build today. I'm in the mood for using my favorite items. So basically for this challenge, all we've got to do is use my most favorite, most used items. And hopefully it's going to turn out nice. I think it will. It's much better than doing my least favorite items build because that would be a hot mess. But yeah, I hope you guys have been good and well. Now I just put these items down here just to, you know, give you guys an idea of what you could use the rooms as just for those of you who feel like you may want a little bit more help with the house, but you don't have to use any of the stuff I've put in here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I approach these challenges as if I didn't make the challenges, but I did. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, so favorite door. I mean, I do have some CC in here. I'm not sure if I should be using the CC though. Maybe we'll just use Max's content because it might be a bit more interesting that way. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun using the favorites. Uh, wait, what is my favorite door? Okay, actually, this is kind of a challenge. Well, look, I've got to say, I think I like this eco door the most. Like this door is just a good time. I might just change that ever so slightly so I can make sure that this door fits. And don't worry, you guys who've been requesting an LP, there's some gameplay coming soon, you guys. So if you've been eagerly awaiting some gameplay videos, I'm working on it. In terms of my favorite flooring, I think I do really like this eco slatted wood. I actually think a lot of my favorite items are gonna be coming from eco. We're gonna be using spa day tiles because they are just the best. I am actually so curious to look on the gallery and see what other people's favorite items are because I feel like some of us are gonna pick our favorite items and some people will be like, yeah, that's my favorite item too. And then we'll look at some other people's favorite items or even mine. And you'll be like, ooh, why does she like that? Oh, I also do like the jungle adventure tiles actually. They're really pretty. But if I'm being honest, I probably just like the boring spa day tiles. I'm telling you right now, these are not my favorite doors. I really like the eco doors, but I don't like the big metal frame around them. So probably the dream home decorated doors are gonna be my personal fave. My oh gosh, it's so windy here. I'm actually a little bit scared. Oh, and then if I'm gonna replace these arches, we may as well go with the eco ones, I think. But again, I have the same issue with the eco ones in that I don't like how they kind of jut out with a big metal frame. But whatever, we're just gonna have to, you know, grow a bridge and get over it. Grow a bridge? Build a bridge and get over it. That's the one. Okay, favorite outdoor. I love these concrete pavers. Surprisingly, these are probably my favorite and I love that this is like perfectly aligned with the lot. That is, that is actually a very pleasant surprise. And I really love the industrial steps, which don't really go with this house, but they're probably my fave. I mean, we can make it work, you guys. We can try and make it work. Although if we're making it work, I feel like it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, and also a lot of you guys would know my favorite uh, outdoor timber flooring is the diagonal. I'm not really sure why, but I just like putting that on the outdoors. Ooh, favorite walls are a tough one for just like regular walls. Um, you know, I love a plain white wall and I love brick walls like brick feature walls. Brick is probably my favorite kind of wall, but I also don't really want to use the brick wall because I don't know if it's gonna work on this house. Because my favorite brick is this one, the more mortar bricks wall pattern. Oh, good Lord. This might look really bad, you guys. <laughs> okay, it's turning in kind of, it's starting to look like an industrial farmhouse. I also do like this wallpaper, like this upcycled one is one of my faves. I mean, definitely the eco stuff, like I said, is my favorite. So maybe we can use rouge. 
Ooh, and these doors are not a fave. I actually do like this industrial farmy one. Oh, I don't even know if that's farmy, that's more industrial. I'm finding it difficult to actually pick what is my favorite, or am I picking what is my favorite to go with what I've already done? But I have to think what is my favorite? What is the thing that I use the most? Honestly, I think you guys would be better at doing this on behalf of me than me doing it, because you guys know me so well and know what I use all the time. I think it might be the eco sliding doors. I feel kind of boring that everything I'm picking is eco, but it's the truth. Oh man, I do really like this. I just haven't used it much. I really want to use it. Maybe I can use it as like a second favorite, right? Right, you guys? Oh, it is really cool. Oh, but that's gonna be sad in that room because like, it's not gonna have any windows. So let's use this one here. But now is that weird? I mean, favorite windows are pretty boring as well. I have to say I do really like using many different windows. Obviously the Ecos I use a lot. Probably the thing I use the most is just the base game, plain modern windows, these ones. Like that's probably the most popular one that I use. But I also like a little bit of Moschino. I've definitely used the Strangerville ones a lot. I've definitely used the Seasons windows a lot. So I don't know. Oh, the eco ones I like too, like the eco plane ones that are almost exactly the same as the base game ones. I do really like these. It's gonna be entirely an eco build. I actually didn't realize how much I loved the eco lifestyle pack. Like, don't get me wrong, I knew I liked it a lot, but this is really showing and illustrating that I really like a lot of what's in that pack. Not to mention, it's just a really good price, a lot of these things, just saying. You know what song I have stuck in my head? I feel like every time I film a video for you guys, there's always a song stuck in my head. Today's song is It's a Small World After All. I can't really sing it because it'll probably get flagged for copyright. Yeah, that's today's song that's stuck in the head. And I always like to use lots of windows, you know what I'm saying? Lots of them. Okay, that's cute. Actually, these front, oh no, those front windows work. I think it's a front door swatch that's looking a little rusty. What's my favorite wall sculpture? Mm, I really like this. I think this is the cutest thing ever. So I feel like we definitely need to put some of these on the side wall. I do love the eco awnings. Oh my gosh, it's everything eco. What the heck? I like this Seasons one. I like the Seasons one because it's a bit rusty looking too. Oh, I don't want to admit the Eco one's my favorite. Is it the glass one that I like the most? I really like the glass one. I think I use this one more though. <gasps> it was my last day on earth playing The Sims, which would I choose? I think I'd pick the glass. I really like the glass warning. Like I'd... Honestly, this is probably really weird to put on a residential home, technically, these awnings, but I really like them. Oh, and you guys know your girl loves some vines. These ones from Vamps. I actually thought this was from Get Together, um, but they're probably my fave. I use these all the time. Because they're so beautiful. Okay, this house is looking semi-weird, semi-cooked. Oh my gosh, that footpath. Now free, feel free to change the house a little bit when you do these challenges. Like if, for example, I just squared off the path, okay? That's okay, but obviously try and keep it recognizable as the same lot. Oh, that's not my favorite tree. We have to put in my favorite tree, which is actually um, these little ones. Wait, is this a smaller version? Or the, I think that's the big version. These little ones, these American beech trees are actually my favorite trees in the game. Oh, and look at that. I actually already used them in the backyard. That is very typical, isn't it? Favorite columns. Ooh, there's quite a few columns I use. I think I use the eco again the eco columns, but I also really like just the plain experience pillar from Get Together. I think these are probably more my favorite though. I can't get over how much. I use eco, what the heck? I'm gonna make a sunken lounge in here too, with maybe a fire pit. Let's put a little roof on here. Oh, totally deleted the other roof, whoops. And my favorite roofing style is to tuck these in and give it like a little farmhousey vibe. 
I mean, I, I do think that suits this build too. Like it just makes it look a bit more modern. <gasps> mailbox. Can you guys guess what my favorite mailbox is? I feel like you guys can. It's this one. It's the, it's the box. <gasps> my favorite fence. I actually think my favorite fence is the picket fence. This one. Yay, I actually picked a different pack. So this is from the backyard pack. I actually really loved when they added this because I actually feel like this should have been a base game. You know, like a picket fence seems pretty, pretty basic. Like if God had an expansion pack for life, he would add a picket fence, right? I also love using these smooth keepers. This is from base game to just create like I call it a lettuce, a lattice or a lattice. I think it's lattice. I don't think it's a lattice. Definitely one of my favorite. Oh, that was awkward. One of my favorite things to do. This is obviously also my favorite. That across there. I've still got It's a Small World stuck in my head. It's just playing over and over again. What's my favorite little window? This one is really cute. I don't think it goes with this build at all, but I do like this little bumblebee stained glass window. I know I don't use it very much, but I just love the little bumblebee. Like, look how cute it is. Can we please have a bumblebee window, please? Okay, now it looks like we've really overdone it. Also, it doesn't really suit the house, but whatever. It is our favorites. Uh, favorite chimney is, I think it's a square base game one. You'd think I'd pick the eco, but I actually think it's, where is it? It's actually this one, the little square concrete chimney with a cap on top. Really, really love that chimney. Also, no idea where the fireplace is gonna go, so I don't know where the chimney should go. Put it here. Favorite plants are a bit of a funny one. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, the Napoca. This was actually from Island Living. I think this is really, um, really nice. And it's also just so handy because you can just like just lay it out. To me, it has the appearance that it's sized up. I don't actually know what plant it is, so I do kind of like the idea of sizing it down. My other favorite fence is the get to work fence. This one, oh, would that actually be my favorite followed by the picket maybe? I just really love that fence. So let's say this could be my favorite. I'm just gonna, oh, I was gonna say I'll put it here but it's gonna ruin everything for us. Favorite outdoor lights? Oh, that's a tough one. I don't think I like many of the outdoor lights. I know I've used this spa day one a lot over the years. So this is probably my favorite. And you guys keep your mother proud. When I say your mother, it's me, obviously. And always do your exterior lights on your builds. Um, and I also think we need one at the front door. Favorite outdoor hanging light. Um, Honestly, probably just the source of light I use the most. So maybe we'll just do that one. Then for floor lights, I actually just like these basic sources, but I do also use this outdoor ground light a lot too to light up trees. But this one's probably my favorite. Okay, outdoor bushes. I really like this cats and dogs one, usually in different colors to the default color. So I'll put a couple of those around. I also really like this green fern, which I swear was added to the base game not long ago. That or I'm crazy and I never noticed this in base game, but surely this was added at a later date. But this is a great handy fern to have. Uh, favorite flowers. Oh, I love the lavender. I really like the lavender that came with outdoor retreat. It's so pretty. I love lavender in real life. I actually would love to grow lavender, but I'm a little bit nervous of it attracting bees. Now, bees are a good thing. It's not bad to have bees around. In fact, you should plant things that attract bees. Um, except my dog Bows is allergic to bees. Well, I don't know if all dogs are allergic to bees, but I know that he gets, last time he was bitten by a bee. I think it was the only time he got hives and like went into full overheat mode. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to have bee, bees at home, unfortunately. Uh, when you're landscaping, I know a lot of you guys want more information about it. I suggest you use the fading brush here to really gradually blend 
the different terrains together. I usually just use the dirt, dew or dye, or the scratchy in patches. Wow, this is a very leafy block. I mean, I think it looks really pretty though. Another favorite thing of mine is definitely the long hedges. I mean, I use these all the time, so I'm gonna stick a couple on the sides here. Okie dokie, now the fun part, which is finishing. Maybe we'll start outdoors and go indoors. So favorite outdoor seat, do love a log. No, that's a lie. I never use these logs. <laughs> I like to think I do for some reason. Oh, I do like them. I like this one. Uh, I think that these, these backyard pack ones definitely been a favorite over the years. So we can use a couple of those. Can't go wrong. Interestingly, my favorite outdoor chair is this one in a black swatch, which I'm not sure many people would be the same. And my favorite outdoor lounge is probably this one, which is another base game. I want to, I really want to see what you guys like. Oh, favorite outdoor table. Don't like that. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Like it goes with the chairs, but I don't like it. This one's kind of cute. Do I use it that often? Not really. And then there's not many others. <laughs> oh no. It's my favorite outdoor table then. I don't even know what I use outdoors usually. I mean, this one's pretty cool. This is new. I mean, I like this, but guys, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite outdoor table. I'm gonna use this one. Oh, but that doesn't match up with my favorite chair. Oh, it's this one. It's the eat the plank table from uh, backyard stuff or the, the one that came with all the hot tubs. There we go. I knew I had one. Here it is. It's kind of not really fitting in properly. Do you think that fits? I don't know. Favorite barbecue. I think this one's really cool. This one came with Jungle Adventure and I don't know, I just think it looks awesome. I quite like it in the red. I like it in the yellow too. Let's keep it in the yellow. Obviously planters are a fave. I love the base game ones. And so good, they have all of these new swatches now too. <gasps> I love patchy, but not really necessary right now. I really love having holiday decorations too, so I need to pop those out. In terms of outdoor stuff, I think the solar panels are really cool. Like, I clearly love all the eco stuff. Um, but seriously, that was a really cool addition to the game. And I have used these, like, base game ferns a lot. I also use this laundry day thing a lot. And I have started using these hanging plants a lot, even though we haven't had them in the game for all that long. Okay, moving on indoors. Now, favorite kitchen counters is interesting because when base game first came out, absolutely my favorite counter would have been this vault one. And it's still, even though I don't use it all the time, it is still one of my like absolute favorites. I know I also use this one from Island Living a lot. I actually really like the Parenthood one too. Dream Home Decorator is pretty good as well. But probably this vault one, I hold in my heart. <laughs> that sounds so lame. One of my favorite things to do is also open up floor plans. So yeah, I'm gonna knock down a few of these walls, opening this up a little bit. This kitchen is a really weird shape. Like I don't, what was I thinking when I did this floor plan? I have no idea of what I was thinking you guys would do. So apologies for past Deli's mistakes. Really love this window. Because the purpose of Buildcrest is to entertain yourself and have fun, have fun. Like, don't feel super tied up by the rules. Like, if you feel like, you know what, I would enjoy this more if I broke this rule, just break the rule and do what you want to. As long as it's still recognizable, that would be great. And this is definitely my favorite sink. I should be nice to have a sink looking out. Favorite bin is so easily this. Favorite stools, Ooh, probably these ones by Hey Harry that were added to the game. Like these are such a, a classic, easy, contemporary style. Love this fit bell. Oh my gosh, and my favorite appliance is a tea maker because it's just so handy during gameplay for your Sims to have tea if they get sick and then they feel better. So definite win. Guys, I am so busting to go to the toilet. I'm just gonna just head off quickly and I'll be back in a sec. This base game table is my favorite with this chair by Hey Harry. I find it really interesting that a lot of my favorite items are from the base game. 
Just because you would have thought by now, like, I would be sick of them or just because the quality of the items or the designs are better or at least feel more current and aren't dated, the ones that have been released later, but no. <laughs> also, these white bricks, um, these are also my favorite bricks as well as these ones. Like, I like both of these a lot. Actually, maybe this table should be this now. Oh my gosh, now this table doesn't work. Why did I make this green? I don't even like this green that much. You know the green I really like? It's the the green that a lot of you guys absolutely dislike. I know some people really like it. It's like that uh, hilly green, like this one, this mossy green. I love this green <laughs> so much. But now it's, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe I should put all the bricks in here. Nah, I think that tile looks good. Actually, we'll keep that black wall there. So this used to be my favorite rug. This one was like, I used it all the time from base game, but I think actually my favorite new one might be this one from Dream Home Decorator. I mean, this eco one's a classic. It's actually the shape and dimension of this rug that I really like, because I think it's a little bit more slimline than the other ones. Um, but I tend to use this rug a lot. This fiddly fig, use it all the time from Cottage Living. This I use all the time. This is like a little bunch of flowers from Dine Out. And if we're gonna put a favorite painting on the wall, I already know it's this Get Famous one that I love the most. I love that painting. I'm actually happy to keep that brick wall just blank because I love that wall so much. <laughs> Like, as I open this room up, we can actually turn this into a lounge area. Oh, I almost forgot about some hanging lights to go over this bench area. I like so many different hanging lights. Like, a lot of these I use probably the same amount as each other, depending on the build. I think this get to work one is kind of cool, especially if we're doubling up on some pendant lights in this area. And I, I do find myself using this eco one a lot. And I just think that looks pretty cool, especially in this color. <gasps> Ooh, I think we can put a fireplace in here. So we're gonna do the favorite fireplace. Okay, it's gotta be between this one, which is of course an eco one, and uh, this get together one. Oh, uh, but then the city living one I use all the time too. I think all three of them are my favorite. I also like the parenthood one. I think that's a really nice fireplace too. So I'm just going to use this one because it suits the house. Oh, but we can't fit a TV on the wall if we use that one. Sure. We might have to use this one. And then favorite TV is this one that you usually would unlock in the tech guru. Oh, that's too big for the wall. So we'll have to size down. There we go. I mean, favorite TV is going to be a wall mounted one, whatever fits in. Oh my gosh, that ties into the wall really perfectly, but almost like too perfectly. I, so, sometimes I really dislike things that look too perfect and too matched up. Like I always feel like I like matchy things with a few pops of color and a few things that are kind of weird or random. It's like boring with a pop of weirdness is my style. Favorite couch? I think the modular ones are a really cool addition. Probably this one. In real life, having these little dots in the fabric, because that's what my couch IRL has, is cool, but it's actually really impractical to clean, because if you spill something, you can get it out of the couch fabric, but not out of the thread in those dots. So then you get these little, like, colors in them. So I don't actually recommend you guys get the same kind of couch as I did. I honestly use this couch so much as well. I think I mostly use that one just because it's really cheap. So probably this one's my new favorite. I like that it's versatile, you know. I'm actually gonna push it back a little bit. Oh, and I forget that you can put arms on it half the time as well. Let's pop an arm there, pop an arm there. Cheese and whiskers, we could make this really big. Okay, that's too big. <laughs> Got a little bit carried away. Really loving this coffee table, but I also love these tiny living ones, also in the black swatch. I actually kind of like the idea of putting that one in the middle and having this one, but that's probably a little bit hard to fit in. Oh, wow, that's a new CC. Oh, that's by Todd's, that's a nice coffee table. I do also really like this one. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> Who thought that a challenge just picking 
your favorite items would be difficult. I also like this one. Like, I feel like I use this one a lot too, because it just is easy to use. I do really love this book slash magazine holder I use this a lot. I wish it was a little less traditional looking because it's a little harder to make it go with the modern belts. And another thing I really love is these Moschino magazines. And you know what other thing I really, really like that they added with Parenthood is the activity board. And the favorite swatch is the blackboard. Bathrooms are pretty easy. Love the tiny living toilet. Would definitely use the jungle adventure shower the most because you can hold down alt with move objects on and put it into the wall. And it just looks like a modern shower. Also love the laundry stuff sink. I also love this peacock sink. I, do, I won't use it as my favorite because I don't use it that often, but this color swatch and design I thought was like the most beautiful thing ever. Mira, love the tiny living, but it's always up too high on the wall. So probably just like the straight mirror. I love this as well from Tiny Living. Tiny Living had a lot of really good stuff. My favorite toilet paper is the only toilet paper we have. I really hope we get another toilet paper one day. Oh, another wall I really like is this gray one. I use this gray a lot. I probably prefer the white. Okay. Oh, master bedroom. Jeez, what would your favorite bed be? I actually think it's probably the dream home decorator bed for me. I like both of these. I use both of them a lot. I think this one's more realistic though. And I obviously love the city living four poster. But yeah, probably this bed is my favorite nowadays. Probably use these tiny living tables or side tables the most as well. Oh, and oh my gosh, do you guys know which is my favorite side lamp? Okay, it's probably between this tiny living one, but also the one that I probably use the most and like the best is the city living lamp. I use this one all the time. And I'm actually going to change over to the favorite wallpaper being like one of these more brushed looking walls. Uh, this one's from the Moroccan pack, but the other one I think was from Jungle Adventure that I really like as well. So yeah, these are definite faves. Really loving this unlockable dream home decorator rug as well. I love the eco rug too. I might just put that over there for now. And then the other rug, I have a lot of favorite rugs, okay? <laughs> I feel like we've got a lot of good rugs. Like I'm not saying I don't want more as well, like keep them coming. Um, so I'll put this rug maybe in this room because it's a better size. But yeah, I really love this rug too. Dream home decorator. Speaking of dream home decorator, these paintings were really good. They were kind of fire when they first came out. They still are. Wardrobe, hands down, I love the get together. Wardrobes that are built in. I mean, come on, there's so many interactions that you can have with them as well. Blind, you guys are gonna hate me saying this, but it's actually my first pet stuff, blinds. They're a good blind. They suit everything. They have decent color swatches, although they should have had a plain white for sure. Instead of like a weird pastel blue. But like these are just flat. They don't take up too much room. Sometimes they like to even clip to the windows properly. That's actually a really, really lovely bedroom. Hands down, the best bath of my favorite bath is from Spa Day. And yeah, they've got the tiles and they've got the baths. I think another thing that I was really, really excited about that they added was definitely bunk beds, which came around the time of Dream Home Decorator and a Dream Home Decorator. I just thought they were really fun, added new gameplay. I mean, would anyone dislike the fact that there are bunk beds in the game? Surely not. And by the way, just if I'm not explaining an object as I put it in the room, you can just know and assume that, okay, she's definitely placing this because this is one of Deli's favorite objects and most used objects. So yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Also, you guys, you know what? I am back on the coffee. Like, I go through phases, you know? I go through phases where I'm like, I'm not drinking much coffee and I don't really have much. And then I have phases where I do drink more coffee and I actually think it aligns with how much anxiety I have. Like, typically I'll just back off the coffee if I have bad anxiety. So I suppose it's a good thing that I'm back on the coffee, right? Right? Wait, can we put a bedside table underneath the bunk bed? I actually have forgotten if it works or not. I really should know, but 
I really don't. These I use the same much as each other, so I'm just gonna put both there. I love putting like an animal sitting on top of it. Actually, usually I probably put the cat there. Or like this. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, I use these so much. Oh my gosh. Can't forget the cloud light because the cloud light is an absolute classic to always use in kids' rooms. It would be so cool if they had the statistics of like your most used items in the game. Even if they did it as maybe an end of year thing where it's like, you know how Spotify does your most listened songs, the songs you most listen to, that type of thing. I reckon they should do that in The Sims 4. It'd be so interesting. I have to say, I actually really do use the yoga mats a lot of the time. And another thing that I use all the time are like these battens, whether they're the city living ones. Oh, whoa, they're way too big. Or the eco ones. Um, I do use these a lot, especially outdoors. Maybe I'll put a couple out there. Also love these new fans. And you know, one career that I also really like that I don't think I've really played out that much, but it's definitely something that I'm always really like in my own time using and interested in is probably the trending style board. And that career still does interest me a lot. I just haven't really gotten into it. So I feel like I should put that on the wall. Oh, and I love all the arts and crafts too. Oh, the knitting was awesome. Let's put the knitting in here too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we forgot the cats and dogs paneling in white. Classic deli move. Classic deli interior design, like, come on. That's probably more appropriate in here too. Okay, I basically put these in every single room. Okay, I feel like we have gone through an absolute journey with my hair in this video. It's like I've changed it so many times. Desperately need some dry hair shampoo in there. That's cute. Okay, let's have a look at the house and do a walkthrough and see what the favorite deli house looks like. Okay, this is a little bit underwhelming because it's basically like almost pitch black at 9 a.m. Um, okay then. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can remember what it looked like from the outside. I mean, look, if we just go into build mode and brighten it up a bit, um, this is the general look of the exterior of the house. It looks a little sad because I guess we are at the start of spring, but you know, it's pretty cool. Actually, I'm really happy with how this house has turned out. I think the awnings are probably the random part of the build as well as the solar panels look a bit weird. We've got our entrance here, little seating area, planters, these new things, which I love. And we come inside and this is what it looks like. All of Deli's favorite things. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I like it. I mean, obviously I'm gonna like it. If I didn't like it, that would be odd. Although I'm sure sometimes when you put all your favorite things together, they're gonna clash a lot. Like for example, this dining table and the chairs and the counters maybe aren't the best mix or blend of items. But hey, they're still my faves. Quite an industrial kitchen there. I actually love a long window between counters. Love the parenthood blackboard as well. This is definitely a deli bedroom if I've ever seen one. Like this is definitely the faves. Probably would have matched this with a different end of bed ottoman, but I probably would say that's my favorite that I use the most. Definitely the wardrobe, the side tables, the bed, the paintings, the lights, they all look super duper familiar. This is also a very deli bathroom. In terms of activity study space, this looks a lot like me too. This shelf I use all the time, I always have. And yeah, I often use that long dining table as a study, um, like a double study table. And sometimes I use them as L shapes as well. And I need to use those clutter boxes more because I do really like them. Really love the kid's bedroom. This is so, so cute. This is what I would love my kids to have in real life if I had kids. And grays and yellows are one of my favorite things too. Yeah, definitely favorite bath, favorite shelf, favorite sink, favorite rug, favorite everything. And yeah, for outdoorsy things, these are a lot of the faves too. Um, and I really love this like little fire pit area as well. We probably could have removed the steps there, but even the landscaping, all the trees, definitely all very much deli favorites. I'm just gonna tuck that in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favorite things in The Sims 4. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite things are in The Sims 4. And I can't wait to see 
your version of this challenge as well. It's on the gallery under the username Deligracy for you to download. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Dark, dark. I'll meet you outside.